Hello everyone, this is DA from Me Academy and today this video is about Hilbert spaces. Firstly, heading towards the definition of the Hilbert space. So a complete inner product space is a Hilbert space. And there is a video on inner product space, so you can check this video as well. The link will be in the description or in the above cards. And I think I have talked about a complete space, a complete space in one of the previous videos. And there is only a, only a single sentence on the complete space, I think. So when talking about a complete space, when I say what is a Hilbert space, that is a complete inner product space. So we know what is an inner product space is and what is meant by a complete space. So the definition of the complete space is, or we can say that the definition of the complete inner product space is. So we know that if, if we have a linear space V over of any field F, F can be R or C that is real space or the complex space. So if we have a, a linear space, and we have a pair of this with with this inner product function so if this pair we know that we are familiar with this pair this pair is called inner product space so this inner product space is said to be a complete space if every cauchy sequence in this space Every Cauchy sequence in this in this V converges to a point that is also in V. So every Cauchy sequence of V converges in V. So this is what is meant by completeness or the complete inner product space. So here we have a brief definition of what is meant by a Hilbert space and this is a definition of what is meant by a complete space. Now, there is also a very well known definition of a Hilbert space and that is a Hilbert space is an inner product space that is a Banach space with respect to the norm induced by the inner product. So that definition looks really ambiguous but but the concept is that we have a norm that is at the base to define this. So that if we, if we have a complete norm space, so if we have a complete norm space or a Banach space, so with that at the base, we can say that this thing implies that because Banach space is at the base, we can form a relation by this of the type that of that norm of an element is is equal to square root of of the inner product of that element and this is true for all x that belongs to the vector space and or, or more precisely we can also say that this is true for when x belongs to the inner product space so this is what the definition says that that we have a banach space or a banach space with respect to the norm induced by the inner product and this is a definition of the Hilbert space when we are talking about the relation of the Banach space and the Hilbert space or the relation of the norm and the inner product and hopefully in the next video we'll see the proof of this relation that how it is a valid relation and how we can form this type of relation and what is the relation between a metric space and Banach space and and an inner product space or a Hilbert space so Moving toward the examples. So the most common example or the well well known example of of the Hilbert space is is this the real space. And this is the first example of the Hilbert space and the second space is the complex space that is also very well familiar. And I'm not going in the proof that how this and this is an example of the Hilbert space. This is obvious and this is for now. You can for most of the videos. Then you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.